Hello everyone. Um, I have decided to solve this question for you because we didn't have class today. So last time we talked about normal distribution. I showed you this graph of normal distribution and then we talked about these partitions. The rule is 68.95.99.7. So we have 68% of our data between mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. 95% between mu minus two sigma and mu plus two sigma. 99.7% between mu minus three sigma and mu plus three sigma. So now I'm going to use this rule to solve this problem for you. It says suppose the exam score distributed normally with a mean of 76, you know that we show the mean of normal distribution with mu and a standard deviation of sigma to alpha. So I will show this normal distribution of 76 and 12 because the first term is mean mu, the second term is standard deviation sigma. It says using 68.95.99.7 rule to find this answer. What are the exam scores in the upper 16% of the distribution? Maybe at first it's difficult for, for you to uh, imagine what is this upper 16%. Even though we had the same formula, same thing in the class, I explained this. But still, if it is difficult, let's start with the second part, which gives us a hint for the first part. It says, what are the exam scores for the middle 68% of the distribution? Okay, now look at this. The middle 68% of distribution is located between mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. As soon as I remember this formula, I can use this formula. So I will write down the middle 68% of the distribution is located between mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. Okay, so now what is mu minus sigma? We know already mu was 76, correct? 76 plus. We already know sigma is 12. So we write down plus 12 and mu plus sigma. Oops, here I should have negative sign. Minus sigma and mu plus sigma. So 76 plus 12, okay? So 76 minus 12 is 64, if you calculate. 76 plus 12 is 88. So I will say points. Points. This is an exam score. So the middle 68 percent of distribution is located between 64 point and 88 point. So this is the answer. So what we said now we can say here instead of mu minus sigma, we had 64 point, we just calculated here, and mu plus sigma is 88 point. This is middle 68 percent. Okay, now we know that all this distribution covers 100 percent of our observations, correct? Okay? 100 percent minus 68 percent will be this side plus this side, correct? So let's calculate 100% minus 68% to know what is this area plus, oops, sorry, 
this area plus this area. So what we have? 32, right? So 32%. All this area plus this area. Aren't this similar? We saw in class, we explained. These two are similar. These two are symmetric. So these two together has 32%. 32% divided by 2 gives us 16%. So this side, 16%. This side, 16%. We talked in the class about this. This is the upper side. This is the bottom part of this distribution. So this is the upper 16%. Okay, so this area is over 16%. We need this number. This number. What are the exam scores for upper 16% of data set? This is the exam score. Mu plus sigma. Mu is 76 plus 12 equal to. 88 points. So it means on x axis here we have 88 points. And all the observations from 88 points to the right side are 16% of our observations. 16% of exam scores are above 88 points. So we answer these questions now. This question says, what are the exam scores in the upper 16% of the distribution? So, upper 16% of distribution will be from this exam score and above. Okay, so this is the upper 16%. And then we can solve many questions similar to this. So now what this one is. It says, what percent of exam scores are between 64 points and 88 points? So if this was a normal distribution, let's say, We have these partitions. This was mu minus sigma, mu plus sigma, correct? Between mu minus sigma, mu plus sigma, we have 68% of our observations. In previous part, we calculated that. Mu minus sigma is 64 point. Mu plus sigma is 88 points. So, we already know on x-axis, mu minus sigma is 64, mu plus sigma is 88 point. So we know 68% of observations are between mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. So if we see such a question like this, we'll say, okay, 64 point is mu minus sigma, 88 point is mu plus sigma. What percent of observations are between these two numbers. So, 68% of observations. 68% of exam scores are, are between 64 points and 88 points. Okay, so as you saw, I had three parts for these questions using 68, 99.7 rules. And all my questions were around this middle portion, 68 per portion of uh, normal distribution. So I could make three different questions, but all of them are about 68% of 
observation, middle 68% of observation. I hope this helped you and because we didn't have class, so I wanted you to review this concept again and have a kind of extra question uh, solving at home. Take care. We'll see you on Monday.